Well, howdy there, Internet students. It's Mr. Hermanson again. Um, if you're watching this video, then you uh, need to retake 6.2D objective. All right, this, this objective is all, all about finding the distance formula, which is a formula you can use to find the distance between two points on a coordinate grid. Okay, let's start with this. Let's make sure we know which one is the distance formula. And it would be option four here. Okay, now I'm just going to explain this real quick to you so that you can use it. Um, when you see this x sub 2 minus x to x sub 1, that is the distance between the x coordinates or the difference, however you want to look at that. And then this is the distance between the y coordinates. And those make the two legs of a right triangle. Um, so once you have those two legs, you square them. You can see the two right there. Add them together. And then you do the square root of that, because that's what you do in Pythagorean's theorem. So I don't really care if you remember this formula. You should recognize which one it is. And maybe use it to remind you, subtract the x-coordinates, subtract the y-coordinates. And then the rest is Pythagorean's theorem. Okay. Now, um, if you're trying to find the length of a segment on the graph, this segment got off a little bit. It should go from one point to the other. Um, I would suggest that you just make a little right triangle. And um, by drawing a vertical line and a horizontal line to make your right triangle. So there's my right angle now. Um, that always has to be one vertical line and one horizontal line. Now, when we are um, counting, this length here is one right there. That's one of the legs. And then we need the distance from, uh, from negative 2 to 4, which is 6. You can just count the units if you want. Um, so I'm going to do my 1 squared um, and my 6 squared. My 6 squared is the difference between the x-coordinates. My 1 squared is the difference between the y-coordinates. Um, I'm going to square those, add them together, and then do the square root of that. So that's 36 plus 1, which is 37. And the square root of 37 is about 6.1, if I round to the nearest tenth. All right, why don't you practice a few of those on the grids. Make sure you draw in a nice right triangle like here. I'll do a nice perfectly straight line here. So you can see, I'll even do it in red. So the leg would be right there. That would be the difference between the x coordinates. And then the difference between the y coordinates would be the other leg. You've got to find the length of those two lines and then do Pythagorean theorem. All right. On this one, we are just going to have to remember what the formula is when we do that because these numbers, it's just too big. But remember, we're basically trying to find a right triangle like that. Now, the way you get this length right here, sorry about that, the way you get this length right here, here is you subtract the x coordinates. So I would do 82 minus 12. And the way you get this length right here is you subtract the y coordinates. So that would be 72 minus 65. I always put the uh, larger number in first. That way I don't end up with the negatives. But um, so using the distance formula, it looks like this uh, the x coordinates here, 82 minus 12. Got to square that number. This is just doing Pythagorean's theorem now. And then you do the 72 minus 65 for the vertical distance. And so 82 minus 12 is 70 squared. 72 minus 65 is 7 squared. So this is 4,900 plus 49, which is 4,949 
and then we have to do the square root of that. That's about 70.3 if we round it to the nearest tenth. All right, so find the distance between each of these using the distance formula. All right, let's uh, use a coordinate grid to help us figure this out. It says Noam walks home from school by walking eight blocks north and then six blocks east. That would look like this on a coordinate grid, six blocks north. Um, let's start at zero, zero. Oh, eight blocks north, he said. That'd be like that. I just went eight blocks north. And I need to go six blocks east. How much shorter would his walk be if there were a direct path from school to his house? So in other words, if we could just go like that. Okay, now if you want to use the coordinates, you can. The coordinates would be uh, zero, zero. And uh, six, eight, and then you can use the distance formula if, if you want. Um, if I were you, though, I would just use the grid and figure out how long these two lines are. The line going up here is eight. The line going over is six, and so we can do six squared plus eight squared equals thirty-six plus sixty-four, which is a hundred. And that's this distance here squared. So we have to do the square root of 100, which is 10. Okay, now how much shorter is it? Well, if he, if he would have went straight, that'd be 8 that way plus 6 that way equals 14. If he would have took the shortcut, it would only be 10 blocks. So I'm just going to subtract those, and it would be four blocks shorter. All right, so in each of the next problems, use the coordinate grid to help you find the solutions. All right, I hope that helps you, and uh, send me a nice photo of your work, and I'll get that retake to you as soon as possible. Good luck.